everybody in the mama think that they're celebrity hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm austin and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel it's been a minute since i have uploaded a video filmed a video and when i mean a minute we're talking like last year december november a minute so it's been it's been about a year but um in today's video i'm going to be talking about moving to atlanta the pros and cons and kind of like the backstory of how I moved, why I moved type thing. So I feel like this would be really helpful for anybody who is looking to move to Atlanta. I've been here since about March, so I feel like I have a pretty good idea. And I know Atlanta is a hot spot right now for a lot of people. So if you wanna hear my pros and cons of living in Atlanta, my backstory, then just keep watching. And if you want to skip through to just like the pros and cons, I'll put the timestamp so then, you know, you can skip the story, and, you know, get to the nitty gritty. So let's get right into it. So like I mentioned, I moved to Atlanta, Georgia from Denver, Colorado in March of 2022. So this year, so it's been about, what is that? Like six, seven months. We're in October now. So like six, seven months. And so far it has treated me pretty well uh, I graduated from college last year and I had the opportunity to move I was looking for jobs in my hometown in Denver but nothing was really coming about like I wasn't really getting interviews I wasn't getting jobs and so that kind of pushed me to look um, outside of state and I've always wanted to live in Atlanta for like three four years but I was in school so I couldn't move, like just pack up and move while I was in school. So Atlanta has always been a place I wanted to be. In January of this year, I made like a little business trip. I call it a business trip, even though you know, it was just business for myself, pretty much. Um, so I came to Atlanta for like, I think it was five days by myself, solo trip. And I rented a car, got a hotel room, and I just really wanted to see what it would be like if... I were to actually move so um i drove went to like a lot of restaurants i was also visiting apartments keep in mind i i didn't even have a plan to move yet i just was kind of manifesting that so i was looking at apartments and i loved the apartments so the weather was cool it was january and January back home is cold, baby, it's cold. And here, it wasn't It wasn't too bad. So I love the weather. Um, so I really just got to experience it for myself. So when I went back home, I immediately started to apply to jobs in Atlanta specifically. I was going on LinkedIn. Your girl was on LinkedIn. I was on Indeed, everywhere, anywhere, um, trying to get a job. And so eventually a company did reach out to me, um, flew me out to do an on-site interview, and then I packed up within two weeks. Two weeks, I packed up my stuff. I didn't have no, I didn't bring no furniture. All I brought were my clothes and my shoes. Me and my mom packed up my stuff in my car, and it was like, maybe like six, seven, nah, that's a lie. It was like eight boxes in my car. And we drove across the country. I don't think y'all understand. That's like 19 hour drive. It took like a couple of days. Um, shout out to my mom because she, without her, I, I would not be here. So I packed up, drove to Atlanta. Um, I was actually renting um, in a house for a little bit. My, my plan was to rent in the house for like two, three months, um, but that didn't work out as planned you know a lot of things don't work out as planned you just have to learn how to maneuver around those things so um and then i got an apartment that's what you see now um so yeah that's kind of a basic rundown of why i moved and how i moved i really just packed up and left like 
I know it's scary for a lot of people, but you know, I feel like I'm young, I'm adventurous. And yes, it was scary, very much scary, but um, I've learned so much. So with that being said, I'm gonna get into the pros and cons of living in Atlanta, Georgia. So I guess I'll start with the pros. Yeah, I'll start with the pros first. So one pro for me is the food. There's so many restaurants, so many like different restaurants. And my experience with food here has been immaculate. Okay, immaculate. I don't think I've really had anything that was just nasty. Like a restaurant that was just nasty. So that was a huge incentive. Um, pro number two is the cost of living as far as like apartments. I know that everybody comes from different backgrounds, but in Denver, the prices were, and the apartment quality, you know what I'm saying? But here, um, I feel like it is high, but in my experience, you get more bang for your buck, you know, like granite countertops, stainless steel, hardwood floors with carpet, things like that. So that's something that I really liked. And number three is the weather. Can't explain to you. Like it is humid, which I don't mind. I come from like the desert. So the humidity is nice. I haven't gone through like the winter yet, but it doesn't really snow. I don't have to deal with the snow, which is a beautiful thing. Okay, on to pro number, is it three or four? Pro number three or four <laughs> um, is the sports teams. Everybody down here loves sports. So if you're a sports fan, people down here go all out for, um, what are they? The Falcons, Hawks, and the Braves. People love sports, which is something I really enjoy. I like going to sports games and people really participate. Like people get down for their teams. So if that's something that you like, then definitely keep that in mind if you're thinking about moving to Atlanta. Next pro, hold on, let me fix this. All right, next pro is um, there's always something to do. So, and I when I mean something to do, everybody knows about the clubs and the lounges and you know the hookah and everything like that so if you're into that cool there's a lot of those options but there's also like activities going on all the time in atlanta so like this past week i think the circus Olay is here and like there's always something like festive going on like festivals carnivals um fairs um like clothing pop-up shops you know so you'll it's not hard to find something to do if you're bored pro list gotta let me a little thirsty okay on to the next pro i think this is probably my last one is um the airport so atlanta has the most busiest airport in the world so if you're somebody who enjoys traveling and that's something that's a high priority for you uh the atlanta airport can you know get you anywhere and i know that a lot of people who do live here um do like that luxury that the airport is very versatile so that's also something to consider another pro is if you like fashion um this is a place for you you want to start a business black owned business um there's so many entrepreneurs here to take you know notes from um mentorship so I think that's also amazing. All right, so let's get into the cons. Um, con number one, which isn't a surprise to nobody, is the traffic. I'm not going to go too deep into that because everybody named Mama knows that. Traffic is horrendous. Streets, terrible. Potholes, you got to watch out or else they'll come up and get you. Um, let's see, con number, I guess that's two traffic and roads con number three is um it's a very it's high crime rate so you know everywhere has crime 
you know, more than others. So that's something to definitely watch out for. Um, con number four is wherever, if you're going out, you're probably going to have to pay for valet, pay to get in, then pay like all these little sprinkles of fees. Like, um, what is it? The tip gratuity fees. Um, yeah, so they always try to get you for something. It's kind of annoying, but that's just that's just that with Atlanta. Everywhere you go, they're gonna be valet. They're gonna try to charge you. Um, you know, it's just the nature of the city, which is unfortunate. But you know, it is what it is. Not everywhere is perfect. Okay, so another con is that people. <laughs> I'm not used to this, but people always. I don't. I don't want to call it a con, but it's, I don't really think it's a pro either. Maybe it's neutral, but um, people down here, everybody in the Imama think that they're a celebrity. They have on all the, you know, expensive designer stuff. And if that's how you rock, then you know what I'm saying? That's cool. But the motto down here is never let them see you stressing. Always let them see you flexing. So nobody's gonna be sharing their hardships and if they are going through hardships they're gonna be flexing somehow some way they, they'll, they'll, they'll find a way they'll figure it out you know whether that's actually i'm not even gonna get into that and you know you don't have to be flexing only with designer things but people are very uh, much into that here and in addition i feel like i should add that you always this stands for anywhere you live but i feel like i have to say it anyway is always stay on your toes because people will try to get you and you need to be aware of what's going on so scammers trafficking um you know all those things you need to be very weary of and never put anything past anybody because that does happen a lot in this city so you know just be aware and who you hang around the areas that you're in, things of that nature. Other than that, that concludes my little story time, pros and cons. And I really hope that this video was able to help somebody make their decision or just kind of give you some um, input on what Atlanta is like. I know there's a lot of other videos, but I wanted to make one for y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.